Hi, my name is Dr. John Duyard, and I'd like to talk to you today about natural sunscreen. You know, for the past 25 years, we have been putting sunscreens on our skin that we thought were protecting us from skin cancers. Well, as it turns out, the SPF factor is a measurement of the sunscreen's ability to block the UVB rays, which turns out to be actually the vitamin D making ray and the skin cancer protective ray. And it's the UVA rays that actually cause the skin cancer. So for all these years, the sunscreens have been letting in the UVA rays and protecting us from the good UVB rays. As a result, skin cancers have reached over a million cases per year. And SPF factors, we're chasing these skin cancers by getting higher and higher and higher. But unfortunately, we were, we were protecting ourselves from the wrong ray. UVB rays actually can convert with the cholesterol on our skin to make pre-vitamin D, which takes it takes which goes to our liver and then to our kidneys where it actually optimizes vitamin D which has an incredible amount of research that I want to share with you a little bit in this video and in our next video coming on vitamin D I want you to learn all about how to optimize your vitamin D levels because of excessive sunscreen use and because of lack of exposure we don't get out in the sun as much as we once did our vitamin D levels have reached epidemic deficiency levels 87% of Americans are deficient in vitamin D in the winter. 70% of, of uh, infants are deficient in vitamin D. And seven out of 10 uh, kids are deficient in vitamin D as well. So these numbers are staggering. When vitamin D levels are low, we're at risk of over 16 different cancers, autoimmune conditions, uh, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, stroke, cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, prostate cancers and prostate problems, a host of conditions. In fact, when vitamin D levels are optimized, which means between 50 and 80 nanograms per milliliter, vitamin D actually protects 2,000 genes from expressing their negative traits. So imagine having a vitamin, which is actually more, vitamin D is really a hormone than anything else at these levels. It actually protects our genes from expressing over 2,000 negative traits. That is a huge insurance policy, and it has to be achieved by getting adequate sunlight. But it has to be done safely. So the big magic question is, how much sun is good, how much sun is harmful? Well, if you talk to the American Medical Association, they say that we should get about 10 to 15 minutes of direct midday sunlight several times a week to optimize vitamin D levels. Now that's only in the summertime because in the wintertime the vitamin D levels simply are, the UVB rays are simply not available. Now the Academy of Dermatology says that, still says that we shouldn't get any sun exposure. So there's a lot of people saying that we shouldn't still get sun and sun, but the bottom line is their recommendation is that we get it from our food, but there isn't enough vitamin D in our food to both satisfy us and provide optimal vitamin D levels simply from our food. So it's clear that historically we always got our vitamin D from the sun. And now we have to realize that the sun is not bad. If you take any plant, any living creature and take them away from the sun, they shrivel up, they wither, and eventually they die. It is critically important for us to know how to optimize vitamin D with the sun in a safe and effective manner. Now, in this video, there is an associated article where I talk about the safest sunscreens that you can buy. The Environmental Workers Group did, a, did an evaluation of over 1,500 sunscreens, and I listed on my, on my website in this article the top 15 or 20 of them that are safe and effective. When you're searching for a healthy and a safe sunscreen, you want two products, you want two minerals. One is titanium dioxide and the other is zinc oxide. Now they make them nanoscaled or micronized where they fractionate the molecule to be very, very small so you don't get the, the lifeguard white nose that everyone sees that actually blends in quite well and they're very, very effective sun blocks. They actually block the rays of the sun from penetrating your skin. It is also should be noted that really still the very best sunscreen of all is to avoid the sun, 
to wear protective clothing so you do not get excessive amounts of sun, which means anything more than 10 to 15 minutes of direct midday sunlight several times a week, which we need. The $25,000 question is, can we get enough and store enough of the vitamin D in our fat cells in the summertime to last us through the entire winter without supplementation? And it looks like we are gonna definitely need some type of supplementation to get through those long winter months from October through March. The best way to know that, to optimize your levels, which is between 50 and 80 nanograms per milliliter, is to get a vitamin D test. It's very important that you do that. We have a, uh, if you don't have access to a doctor or insurance to cover your vitamin D tests, we have a home skin prick test that you can, that you, we can mail to you and you mail it in. And it's a very simple way of doing it, a very inexpensive way to get that done. And I recommend a baseline test and then a test in the spring and the fall because it's the right amount of, of vitamin D that protects you from cancers and autoimmune conditions and all the conditions that I mentioned and I discuss in detail in my articles about vitamin D and my videos about vitamin D as well. So please tune into the article associated with this, this, this video as well. We developed about 11 years ago a natural sunscreen called body butter. And the body butter is avocado butter, shea butter, mango butter. It has Ayurvedic herbs cooked into these butters, which provide natural sunscreen protection. And the beautiful thing about that, traditionally it was understood that we want to make the skin function as an organ versus just protect and wall the skin and, and, and block the sun's rays. The skin has natural protective factors. And when you use the body butter, it activates the skin's ability to function as an organ. So not only does it actually help the skin protect itself against the harmful UVA rays, the skin cancer causing rays, but it also actually helps the skin make vitamin D better, which happens to decline as we age. So it's so important that we keep our skin functional and optimal. I wrote an entire article about, and a video associated with that article, about the skin associated lymphatic tissue and the magic connection between the skin all over your body and the associated lymph that drains your skin, which is where 80% of your immune function lies. That relationship between your skin and the associated lymph is so critically important for your good health, not only for your skin protection from the sun, but the function of your skin as well. It's critically important we understand that. So what your skin looks like on the outside is really, it really a reflection of how functional your skin is on the inside. So it's very important for us to realize that we need to put, we need to put products on our skin that actually help the skin function as an organ. Turns out that the body butter has a natural SPF factor of a four, which gives you a natural 120 minutes of skin protection, but it optimizes the function of your skin to make UV, to make vitamin D, and it also helps optimize the skin's function to protect against the, skin, the sun in a natural manner. So please take the time to read the article, learn more about a natural sunscreen, completely non-preserved, that you can use on your skin daily to prepare your skin for the sun and you can use it when summer comes and you need that direct uh, protection. Read the article, find out more about the different sunscreens on the market today that are the safest that are out there today and learn more about vitamin D, your skin, and how to optimize your good health. Thank you very much. I'm Dr. John Duyard.